Hey everyone, good to see you again. Tommy here. Want to tell you about another little uh, mod I did on the 2020 Coachman Crosstrek 20XG. So anyone who knows me knows that I enjoy music, especially when I'm traveling. And a lot of times in these B plus and C motorhomes, you know, the cab that the manufacturers use Sometimes it has some nice features, but other kind times they're, they're just kind of basic. And the one I have is more basic, kind of came with the Ford standard radio. Uh, it was a radio, you know, uh, but that was it. So I decided to change out that head unit. And after I did that, it's like, oh, this is, this is better, but maybe a little bit more. And so then I got, I got a subwoofer. I got one of those all in one units. Uh, where it's the amp and the subwoofer all together. Mounted that under the passenger seat. That was great. I enjoyed that for a few weeks and I thought, mm, just needs a little bit more because these cabs only come with front speakers. So of course, the rear speaker connection on an aftermarket head unit, it's not used. So I decided to add another set of speakers. So now I connected those to the rear speakers. Uh, you know, the rear speaker connection on the, uh, on the head unit. So now I have nice stereo sound and I'm going to kind of show you, you know, how I mounted these and what I did to, uh, install this system to kind of make it best for myself. So hopefully you can use some of these ideas. All right. So the first thing I want to do is uh, show you the head unit I have here. And this is a Jensen. Um, you know, it, it has Apple CarPlay wireless, and that is great for me. I really like it. I can put maps up there, music, you know, whatever I want. So it works out really well. Now, typically when you install a car stereo, you're going to install it like the factory, you know, where you turn on the key and then it powers the radio. I decided not to do that. I actually have a separate switch right here. I installed that little round switch that turns on the stereo. So... All I have to do is turn this on. I do not have to have the key on. And if you power your radio off of your coach battery, you're not going to drain the chassis battery operating your radio. So if you want to play the radio while you're parked somewhere, it's no big deal. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you're a little bit handy, um, you know, you can do that. All right, so I'm going to turn this off because my phone's going to try to connect to it. All right, so that's that's the head unit. Now, in this Ford Transit, I found that down here, if you pop that cover off of the uh, parking brake, that rubber mat is cut underneath there, and you can fish right up underneath that mat. There's some space in there, some give. And if you take off that panel right up there, you're going to see another opening in that rubber mat and that makes it pretty darn easy to get any wiring um, from from the head unit up here you can get down through the dash without much difficulty at all you gotta pump uh, you gotta pop off that front uh, dash panel there that uh, gray piece and once you do that uh, you're kind of home free and it's pretty easy so what, what i had to do here if you don't have a fish, what they use to pull wires, uh, like through walls and stuff, you can use a driveway marker. A and that's what I used. I used a driveway marker. So I just, you know, the kind of has a little red reflector on the top. I just push that up through gently now, gently, you know, take the cover off, gently push that up through till you find up to the other end and then you can pull your wires through. Now, I actually didn't do that. What I did is I used a string and I pulled a string back through, then connected it to the wires and pulled the wires up through. That was the easiest way I found to do it. So, uh, you know, however you wanna pull the wires through, that was a pretty easy way to do it. And I didn't have much difficulty at all. And then, of course, once the wires come out from underneath the rubber mat, I put some wire loom. You can just see a little tiny piece of it right there. And put some wire loom, uh, you know, around that. 
and then ran the wires where they needed to go. Now, what you're seeing there is the piece that's going over to the subwoofer that's mounted underneath the passenger seat. There's also a line that runs over this way. So the power line for the subwoofer runs over this way to the battery, but also the speaker wires for the, what I'm calling the rear speakers, also runs over this way. And pull out the table here. So they're underneath the, that little piece of carpet only goes up under the rubber mat about an inch so you can easily pull that back there you can see the fuse for my subwoofer and, uh, and you can't see the wires for the um for the rear speakers but they're there also and then they go up behind this piece of trim that i pulled off this piece of trim now a little tip so you see there there's two fuse holders sticking out I found those fuse holders behind this piece of trim. I wasn't too fond of them being behind the trim, and I thought here behind the driver's seat, they're not in the way, they're not hurting anything, they're not really in plain view. I did not tuck them back in behind that piece of trim. I left them out. That way, you know, if I'm ever troubleshooting something, it's like, hey, there's two fuses here, maybe I should check those. So. Uh, so I was kind of glad I did find those. So I ran the wires up uh, through here, up through there. So this panel back here, that comes off. And then the wires go above here. And right there's speaker one. And over here is speaker two. So let me stand back so you can kind of see where they are. Now, where the speakers are mounted, there used to be these nice lights. Let me dim this one down here a little bit because those will go blue. So those, uh, there used to be a light where each of the speakers are and then a switch for the lights right in the middle where this light is. I decided I didn't need two lights. I can get away with just one light up here without it being on a switch because this light has a switch mounted right on it. So I just cut the holes bigger for the speakers from you know where the lights were mounted and then uh, mounted the speakers in there. It's very easy to run the wires. There is insulation up there, but it's not packed against uh, this bottom piece. So there is some space there, no problem at all. And uh, very easy installation. If you do it, make sure because these, these speaker grills only line up one way on the speaker. So when you screw the speaker up in, you wanna make sure that your grill's gonna be nice and lined up. You know, if it has some sort of logo on it or something, um, that way it just looks nice and a little more professional. Now, this paneling piece is only stapled across here. And it did come a little bit loose from the weight of the speakers. So I put a screw up in at each of the speakers and uh, that just helps hold it up there. And it's just a black screw that, you know, there's other ones that look like that throughout the unit. So I don't think it looks too bad. All right, so now when I wanna hear my tunes, I can just turn on the, uh, turn on the new head unit down there and uh, fire away. Now I do have a uh, adjustment knob for the subwoofer and I, I mounted it down here on the bottom of my radio. So, um, you know, I can get to that pretty easily too. And, you know, there's, there's these vents in the front of the passenger seat that I can actually stick a little screwdriver through and make adjustments to the subwoofer if I need to. So, all right. So that's kind of an overview of, uh, how I mounted this and, and what I did to kind of make a little bit better sound in my RV. So you might be able to use these tips to make uh, a, you know, a nicer sound in yours. And of course, you know, unless you have this exact model, it's not going to be this exact same way, but Hey, you know, look at yours. Uh, you can probably figure out a way to, uh, you know, upgrade your head unit. If you want to add, you know, some rear speakers and make yourself a nice sound system. So, you know, when you're traveling, you know, across the country or, you know, just a couple hours away, even uh, that you have some nice music to listen to. It always makes a trip more pleasant. You know, if you're listening to some music or, or maybe a podcast, something like that. It's just nice to have nice speakers and a nice system. All right, well, that's it. So 
thanks for watching again. I really appreciate, uh, you know, all you out there who watch these videos. And uh, I just hope to try and, you know, give a little bit of information, give some ideas and tips on maybe ways you can improve your, uh, your RV, your camper, you know, whatever type of unit you have. Um, they're all a little bit different. Um, you know, if you have this exact one, hey, you can make this exact mod if you want. Or if not, you know, you can just adapt it to whatever you have. And uh, so there again, thanks again for watching. I, I appreciate everybody out there and safe travels. And we'll see you on down the road. Hey, and be sure to click like and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it.